Yo, ho, what's up? Name How y'all up. doing? All right, man. Hey, man. How about that O.J. Simpson trial? Yeah. Man. Uh, I really don't have anything to say about it, yeah. but, you know, <laughs> since I'm coming by here, everybody expects me to talk about it. You know, uh, he's black, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Hey, why, why is it every time a high-profile black man does something, people always think it's some kind of referendum on all black people in America? <laughs> hey, white people don't do that. Every time John Boy does something stupid, you don't see white people going, oh, no, he's making us all look bad, right? Well, it's the same deal with O.J., okay? If he did what they say he did, he ought to have to face the consequences, and that's whether he's black or white or red or yellow or or green like that dude in the mask, you know? All right? Uh Enough said. All right. Let me get to the real reason I came by. All right. I was watching TV the other day. This Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial come on, and of course, being a black man, I perked up right away. Don't be laughing at that. I'm trying to make a point here. Okay, <clears throat> anyway, the commercial, come on. Who do I see sitting there but the colonel himself? He's sitting there talking about this new rotisserie chicken they got uh, and how it fits into today's more active lifestyle. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't the colonel's active lifestyle <laughs> end about 1969 when he died? <laughs> well, I mean, forget Tom Arnold. This here is the comeback of the year. I think it's kind of like Walt Disney. They had the Colonel frozen in one of them big chicken buckets they used to have up on the roof. And then when they need him, they just bring him down, pop him in the pressure cooker for 30 seconds. You know, he's good to go, you know. Now, all this started last year. They introduced, remember when they, they introduced that rotisserie chicken? Yeah. And the announcer be talking about, rumor has it the Colonel had a secret recipe for a new kind of chicken that was lost for 30 years. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know who started that rumor, don't you? The head of marketing over there at KFC. I mean, trust me, this recipe was so secret, even the colonel didn't know about it. You know? Yeah, yeah. And so they got this grainy black and white movie, this actor dressed up like Colonel Sanders now. And, and I read something the other day. Somebody asked KFC, why didn't they just use some of that 400 hours of film on the real colonel that they got locked up in the vault? Yeah. Or were they maybe trying to put words in his mouth? And the KFC guy goes, no, no, no. The colonel really said a lot of things just like this, but he just didn't say it uh, succinctly enough for a 30 second TV commercial. Yeah. Uh huh. I bet he didn't say nothing about no active lifestyles and no rotisserie chicken neither. I mean, there's another commercial where the colonel's talking about give people a good deal and they'll keep coming back. Uh-huh. Yo, colonel, I want your deal. You seem to keep coming back. <laughs> I tell you who I feel sorry for in all this is that brother that runs the KFC up in Lake Edna, you know? Remember him? Six months ago, he was a nationwide TV star. Now he's back shoveling gizzards in the fry. His 15 minutes are up in Lake Edna and your neck of the woods. Hey, and did you notice they don't even call it Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore? It's KFC now. I mean, what's that all about? Do they think that we're going to, like, forget that it's fried or something? Like we're going to walk in the door and say, hmm, KFC, that must stand for cholesterol-free chicken. Now, give me a large bucket, my good man. Y'all think about it. I'm Marvin Webster.